Okay, what do you think about 15 years, I've been amazing federal certainly endured and faced adversity through his career through three different ACL knee injuries. Right now with the range of the offense, first and ten, little play action. Over the middle, incomplete, broken up. We never, we came and we drove across the United States, tied on the team. Like, this is what Hi, can I check the clothing prices? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. What kind of prices are there? And then I'll sort of grab um, stuff and show you. We'll start off with like two and three dollars okay so if i just kind unless of unless it's like something i just can't do for that price i got you so if yeah. i just make a pile i'll let you look through it yeah thank you very much of course you need to try anything on too we've got oh thank you area. i know Brilliant. sometimes it's got you just never know do you <laughs> well thank you very much Hill with plenty of time. Incomplete intended for his receiver over the middle, number nine, Nick Muse. His tight end, it'll be fourth down to punt. Clearly, well too far down the field. Nice pickup on both. 
by the official. Let's do second down again. 42 seconds to go in the first quarter. Three receivers back to the top of you. Brass under hook steps up, delivers into traffic, and what a grab! You. Is that okay? Oh, <laughs> Will you kinda, let me know what I'm up growing? To? <laughs> I know, I need both hands apparently. Thank you so much. Now Sean's sitting in the Corvette. Oh, and oh, no. <laughs> 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 they actually... I mean, you think it's cancer or whatever because he's always, you know, he's had that, you know, the time that it was just, a, it was a hernia, a hernia that was pressing it on his intestine wall that was making him twist. All he had to do was have hernia surgery, sew back up, go home. No. It's not the way it happened. He had many doctors, but Dr. O'Connor, uh, GI doctor, is, is, is the GI doctor. Um, but the surgeon was Dr. Weiss, the premier surgical. He had three surgeries, three openings. When you should have sewed him up and sent him home. Yeah. Yeah. I know, the girls, I know you guys are so tired of hearing that. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I think Sean needs to be in the bag. He does. And Jean always said, I don't mind to do what I got to do. I just don't want the bag. And I'm like, look, people live. So you have you at 65 right now. Okay. okay, yep, that'll work. Thank you. How much are these boots right here? I'm sorry. Um, five. Five, okay, awesome. Okay? It is. I'm going to have to text my husband to go to an ATM. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it all. <laughs> you would never know. He's so full of rock. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I think we did order one because we thought Jean might have have yeah. one. Yeah. And so they were going to, you know, be funny with it. And uh, but you know, I don't know that we ever got one. Are you? No, I'll be fine. Good. I had another hip surgery in December. Yeah. And it's not mine. Now I can't on talk. I'm doing. I'm blessed today that I can walk to you now. Oh, wow. And I have stenosis this time. Mm -hmm. I've had part of it fused, and then now the other part has got to be fused. So I said, no more. Yeah. I'm stay home. <laughs> well, I'm putting up there. Are these the I'm similar prices, or are these all different? I mean, I'm no, well, I'll, I'll do what I did with your palette. Oh, okay. I'm just putting it all a good I price. can just add it in there. Okay, yes. thank you yeah, very much. No, thank you for buying it. Of course. So you all have the cutest style. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> I don't know. Just I mean, wait, because this is cute stuff, and then um, okay. we're on the deck. Oh, okay. I'll keep I'll find my final price, and I'll have to run out and tell him to run to the car, because my kid has my phone, so. <laughs> okay.
Yeah. If you have um, Venmo or I really only have Venmo, so if you have I could. that works too. Okay, yeah, I might be able to do that then. I'll grab my phone. to my pile yeah, that's okay <laughs> thank you very oh, much yeah. oh you're buying the first dress oh it's so cute uh, <laughs> oh, that is so pretty on isn't you. it so nice I do. I'm going to add them in and then I'm going to double check I didn't miss anything <laughs> and then I'll find yeah. out what I need to grab. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, I found two more. You let me know what I'm at. I will grab my phone. You said Venmo, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That. That's probably going to be easier for you and me. All right, cool. Uh, okay, what do you think about 185? 185. Is that too much? Um, what do you get? Uh, the most expensive. This is getting. Okay. Are these all like full price? Peyton, you want to make her a deal? Uh, that's okay if they are. So. <laughs> Do you want to make her a deal? On what? On your clothes. Because I did like 
two, three to five dollars, and then if it had like the free people tag on it, I had to do it for those. You had to do for the full price for the yeah, free just people. For these two. Okay. Um, what do you think? What do you want? Um, what do you want to spend? I don't mind at all. If I probably will put the free people pieces back, and I probably will put the full price ones back if that's okay, just to do like the the kind of bundle yeah. thing, if that works for you. So you're not selling any of this now, unless you want to make a deal, Peyton. <laughs> I'll grab my phone, I'll let y'all think about it. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, you guys. So this was an interesting shopping trip. When we were um, sort of driving around, I happened to spot a sign that said upscale yard sale. And I thought, well, that's interesting. So we kind of sign chased for a little bit and came across it. Um, and it wasn't wrong. They were, there was nothing but like clothes and shoes basically. And it was all inside the person's house. Um, it was really, really interesting. It wasn't an estate sale. It was just in the house and through and into the deck. It was, it was interesting to say the least. Um, but it was not crowded. There was not a lot of people there. Um, so I felt safe going around and just kind of checking stuff out. Um, and I'll show you what I found. Um, I ended up doing a big bundle deal. She had prices on things that were really kind of high. So I sort of asked her how much things were in general because at this point it was like 2 30 in the afternoon um and she said she would do things for around two to three dollars a piece for the most part so i made a huge pile now when i did make the pile originally she sort of quoted me 185 dollars which i was like oh um but she said it was because the the men's items which belonged to her son he didn't want to come down on those prices and they were things like um a columbia pfg shirt for like 15 dollars, which is just too much for me to pay for resale um, and there was a couple of free people shirts in there as well that she said she had to have 20 dollars a piece on the free people so i didn't want those so i put those back very politely um and we ended up selling at a hundred dollars for everything that you see here but there's some good stuff in here and it actually worked out as two dollars and sixty cents a piece so i'm really really happy with that average price point so here we go um start with a pair of men's sketches uh, i don't know the relax fit they're gonna have a style number like down there where you can see the tag that i can look up they look like they have barely ever been worn like very very light use um and with them being the men's and the sandals close toe sandals and things like that they should do quite well and then this is the only other pair of shoe i got these were little ankle boots from the north face they are wedges as you can see waterproof leather and um, again i think they have a style number hiding in there that i can use for listing them appropriately but for two dollars and sixty cents i will absolutely grab north face booties okay let me show you my fail real quick this is like my sort of one main fail i grabbed a couple of little bits for myself as well that are in the washer and um, but this is the only thing that i don't think i'm gonna be able to sell so it was white house black market extra small and i really liked the style it's like very nautical striped with the kind of lace-up detail um but unfortunately what i did miss is a couple of little pulls i don't even know if you can kind of see them they're like pretty small and um, but there's one that runs just a little bit longer than i'm comfortable with um i can't even find it now but it's there trust me and so because of that i don't think i'm gonna sell this item and um, i'm probably just gonna go ahead and redonate it but as far as i can see that's the only one that i had with a condition issue so that's pretty good going all right let's start down here so I have okay so this piece is very very cute it is like an open eyelet style top with a big old keyhole back and it is soft and sexy by American Eagle size large again that's probably going to be something I list for around 20 I absolutely love this blouse so it is J Crew size 12 I have a feeling it's 100% silk just from touching it and it is a gorgeous kind of like tropical floral all over print so beautiful in person i really really like this piece yes taking a quick peek it is in fact a hundred percent silk so definitely a cute find there and j crew of course has like style numbers so i can find its exact name and its exact comps and they'll be hidden down there where i showed you the fabric content okay another j crew piece didn't pick up everything j crew just the pieces i really like this is a collector tee it is technically the factory but i just loved the print it's like a giant fruit salad uh, we've got great Grapefruit, pineapple, bananas, all cut limes, kiwis, all kinds of cool stuff. I absolutely love this tank top. So I think that will do really well just because of the novelty print. 
This is a brand I haven't found in ages and I was really excited to find it. So Smart Wool, uh, women's size, medium. It's just a teal blue um, short sleeve t-shirt, but these do really, really well. Smart Wool is an expensive and very, very popular brand. Okay, this is a Patagonia dress. Um, I could feel that it was quality and I could not find the brand name. Um, I had to go digging, but it is down in there and it's just like a little kind of shelf bra um, red dress with a twisty back. And I think the last time I sold one of these was around 30 to 35. Next is a blue shift t-shirt dress with like a pocket on the front. Um, mix by 41 Hawthorne. I'm familiar with 41 Hawthorne. I'm not familiar with mix. I don't know if it's dilute or what it is but I really liked the very simple piece so I think that'll do quite well as well and this has no brand I picked it up purely on style because it was just cool it's a bird dress obviously um, I think it is short sleeve it's very very like shift fitted um, and I think it's an XXL as well but I just really like the print I thought that someone's going to really go for that novelty print okay this is a fleece pullover it is by Marmot um, which is again a really nice outdoorsy brand it's a size extra large it does have like a company's embroidery on it but honestly it's so fitting for like outdoors I don't think that's going to be too off-putting for anyone and it is kind of like a hot pink color okay this is a new one to me and I'm glad I grabbed it because looking at the comps it's doing really quite well um, here is the brand Amano Scavino Beachwear Made in Italy. That's really why I grabbed it. And also it's just a really nice style, kind of like a button up blouse with all this ruffle detail. And I just noticed a mark. That's okay. I'm going to work on that. That's going into my laundry pile. But the comps are good so I can get it clean. It's going to do quite well. All right, Vineyard Vine, size medium. Just a very, very simple blue preppy cardigan with the classic embroidered logo. J. Crew, size eight. This is a pop over, kind of like semi sheer, very lightweight blouse. Really, really like the chevron type print on that. Um, J. Crew, again, this is an older tag, but it is a wool and cashmere blend and it is a metallic card, like knit cardigan. So I think, again, holiday season coming up, that's going to do nicely. Another American Eagle, soft and sexy. This is um, one of the ones where it has like across the, like almost like a choker look and then it has the deep v and it does have the tie dye to it as well and it's a size large so lots of good stuff going for that probably list for around 25 another j crew piece size medium just a pop over very kind of like i don't know very like could you say cottage core for this i definitely have kind of like like pioneer sort of little house on the prairie kind of vibes with this piece so we'll see i'll have to play with keywords for that this is a mystery this made it into my pile and i didn't mean to buy it so here it is um the brand has been cut out i don't know what it is but it is kind of like a crochet button up um top with all of this lace i don't know what to do with this i didn't mean to buy it what can i say sometimes that happens when you are bundling a lot of items um next is Maeve, which is an anthropology brand size 10 and just like a polka dot button down shirt again just right for the season Next is Cabby. They have style numbers just like J. Crew, um, so I can find out the exact name and comms for this. Uh, this was the only Cabby piece that I grabbed, but I really liked the cardigan because it had all of this kind of tie-dye detail to it that I thought was really cute. This I had to grab because it was just so unusual. So it is J. Crew, as you can see. It has a button-up neckline. It's a really, really nice purple color. It does need a little bit of a wipe down and a wash. It's like a high-low fit at the bottom, long sleeve. Just has this really unique neckline. So I'll have to look at the style number to find out exactly what it's called and how to describe it. But I thought it was really interesting. So why not give it a try? Another J. Crew piece here. Um, it is a size large and it's just like a little graphic t-shirt basically that says lifeguard on it again we're probably looking at like 14 to 18 for that the only vintage piece i found there and i could not leave it behind because i just thought it was so funny um it is a single stitch it is a beefy tee um and it's for like a bar i guess down in maybe florida called fud puckers um the dream series on the island their slogan is what made me laugh you ain't been <laughs> i'm not even gonna read it out because i feel like i might get demonetized but y'all can see it right there and i think the sort of uniqueness of this and the quirkiness is what's gonna sell it okay the next two pieces i think are the same brand um and i love to pick up this brand and i haven't found it for a while so i was kind of excited it is toad and company size large this is a teal um maxi dress with a built-in shelf bra 
And I tell a lie, there is another Toad & Company piece, but it's a little bit further down. This one is cloth and stone, size large. I'm really picky with this now because you can basically buy it at Ross and stuff. It used to be sold um, at Anthropology and be quite popular, but I like the style of this. Um, it is a longer dress, maybe like a midi length, and then it has little kind of cold shoulder details, um, little pocket tee. I still think it will do okay. And for $2.60, I know I can make a profit off of that brand. Um, little Under Armour, what was this? This cold gear or heat gear? I forever forget. All season gear. There you go. That'll work. Size medium. But I really liked it. It had a very sort of contemporary look. It's just a long sleeve sort of like workout or running jacket. All right, two pairs of jeans. Again, I have never found this brand of jeans, but I've heard people talk about them. Big star jeans. These are the Maddie Midrise Fit. Um, I think it's just like a boot cut. So I will be testing those out. I've always heard of big star jeans and never stumbled across them, but these are in good shape as well. Um, and then these are button flap, which I have a feeling might do quite well. And they're just the same one, the Maddie Midrise Fit in a different wash. All right, next we have J. Crew. Again, it is factory, but that's fine. They're size 12, really, really cute polka dot shorts. We have some free people, um, like turquoise blue cut off raw edge denim shorts. These will go straight into my uh, like spring summer box, I think, so that I have some good stuff to list when the season changes. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret bra. Again, very picky with these, but this is the lightly lined plunge bra, um, and it is. It doesn't have a fastening. It's so it's a little bit more sort of like unique. It's kind of like a no-show, I guess, like under a t-shirt or something. Um, so with it being a little bit more unique and a plunge bra, I decided to grab that one. Another pair of Free People um, cut off denim shorts. Really like these ones as well. This is an Under Armour sleeveless sweatshirt. I just really like the black on black. I thought that that was a really cool look. Um, and I think that one is a size large as well. We got a pair of Nike um, joggers. Well, not really joggers because they're not really elasticated down here, but just kind of like sweatpants, like workout sweatpants. I think they're cropped. Um, size large. I think they're kind of like a newer style, as it were. And then the last item that I picked up, which I guess this is my other, there it is, my other toad, uh, toad and Company. Well, this one is Horny Toad. So this is what they were called before they moved to Toad and Company. It's the same brand. Um, and you could put both words or both names in your title if you wanted to, size large. These also have style numbers so that you can, again, find out the name and things. And this is a long sleeve black kind of like t-shirt dress. So again, very, very classic style and should do quite well. Ooh, okay. Thank you so much for anyone who made it this far for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. I hope that you enjoyed it and you enjoyed Yard Soul Shopping with me. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out some more. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, you guys.